It works. Awesome. Hi. Great. We had a How problem. are you, Lisa? I'm doing fine. We had a little problem with the sound issues, uh, people. And I think maybe both of us should restart our computer before each session. I, I never restart my computer, but I think I'm going to do that, too. Uh, yeah. Hi, Eric. How are you doing? He says, hi, Mom. I'm doing fabulous. He's excited to be here. Good. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you want to get started? Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. huh? What'd you say? He's talking about your birthday. Oh, thank you. I had a great birthday. Getting older. Uh, all right, Eric, here we go. This is from Aaron O. When will I meet a romantic partner? I've been single forever. Be careful what you wish for, Aaron. Yes, Aaron. Um, Eric is telling you that you're not going to be alone for the rest of your life. He says, the main thing with you is you wanted to have um, time to be alone, so you didn't have responsibility, so to speak. You will be able to find a partner. Your partner's going to come. Um, time framework. He's telling you about a year and a half from now. Oh, that's not too bad. Awesome. No. And will it uh, last, will it be one of those forever partnerships? He says happy forever. Oh, yes. Oh, that's awesome. All right, here's one from uh, Leilani B. Hi, and happy birthday, Elisa. Aw. Hello, Eric and Raylene. I was going to let Eric choose, but uh, it won't let me. So I want to know what we look like to spirits. What does Eric see when he looks at me? He says, well, hi, Leilani. He says it depends. He says if I'm there um, in the third dimension, right there with you guys, I see the human figure. He says if I distance myself, I see light, light beings. Um, you guys look like light to me. I see the light within you. Uh, he's talking about our true selves. Um, and so he sees beyond the ego. He doesn't see the ego part of us. He's our light beings. Um, and so he says it depends on what part he's choosing to see and how close he's choosing to be. Oh, I see. What does he see from heaven? Because once he told uh, me that we kind of look a little muddy, you know, mm -hmm. maybe that's our ego, our muddy egos. That's a really good way of explaining it. He says that's exactly it, Mom. Okay. And so um, he shows, I like the mud thing, but what he's showing me, it looks like a bunch of balloons from Earth with light. Oh, um, okay. And so he says, I see beyond the mud. Oh, we're pretty inside. Are. Diamonds in the rough. All right, uh, Dana O, what is my life purpose? Can you repeat the name again? Dana O. Dana O. Thank you. They show you coming down here specifically for nature, earth, enjoying human life, enjoying earth. So your life purpose would be outdoors, connecting with animals, Mother Earth. That's what you've come here for. Oh, well, that's nice. That's very special. Mm -hmm. Here's one from Derek D. I'm new to Eric, and I wanted to ask what my higher self is trying to tell me. I'm a bit thick. Aren't we all? We're humans. We're supposed to be thick. Eric smiles at you. He says, hello, you are new. He says, I've encouraged you to watch my videos and read about me. It's not by coincidence. Your higher self is getting your attention because you're shifting. You're shifting into spiritual awareness. And so your higher self just wants you to be more aware of your surroundings. Um, and it's really not about your thickness that he's talking about. He's wanting you to be more of your surroundings, so be cautious of what you put into your body, the foods. Be aware of your surroundings. Okay. All right. Um, I, I feel compelled to ask uh, one more question for Dana O. Oh, I hope she's still listening. Her life purpose is nature, Mother Earth. Is there anything she should do career-wise along those lines? Um, not so much career-wise, but what would be more suiting her life purpose starting some form of organization, um, whether it's like with polluting or teaching people how to like grow their own foods, specifically with Mother Earth. Um, so I guess that could turn into career. She could, you know, grow her own food, mm -hmm. um, planting, things like that. Okay, with like a nonprofit? 
No, not really. Um, for her, career base is different than okay. my career. All right, all right. Sheila S. Hi, Eric, Raylene, and Elisa. Thank you all for uh, thank you for all you do. Any message from loved ones passed over? My spirit guides, my higher self, or you, Eric? Pick one. What do you think would have the most impact? Eric says me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> right. And so his message is he's telling you that you're beautiful and you're stronger than you think. He says to give yourself more credit than you give. Uh, he's also telling you to focus on one thing at a time. So, for instance, if you have a lot of housework to clean, focus on one room and not the rest of the, ho the house. Do one thing at a time. You're overwhelming your brain. Okay. Anything else? He says, well, Mom, she's beautiful. Oh. Yeah, but are you crushing on her? He says it's not like that. Okay. Zoe M. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, Eric. Can I please find out what my life purpose is? P.S. Love your work. Thank you, Zoe. So her life purpose is children. She's coming down here to do nurturing, caring, mothering. That's the life purpose. Um, one thing that she's learning is patience. And that's huge with her purpose. Well, if you're dealing with children, yeah, that's you can learn a lot about patience. Right. They're difficult at times. Uh, is it her own children or other people's children we're talking about? Both. Or both. Okay. Uh, Maria C. Hey, Eric, can you please tell me what my soul's mission is in this lifetime? Thanks. Love you. Hi, Maria. Eric says that your soul mission is pure love. Uh, he's talking about you coming down here to open up love to people and to teach people how to love unconditionally without judgment. Um, I want to call her more of a light worker. She's, t she's here for love. Wow, that's but special. Like, you know when a person comes down here to experience love, that's it, but she's also teaching people how to love. Oh, wow, that's really important. Mm -hmm. All right, Christopher F., what's going on with me? Um, so he's talking about mentally here, and this is Eric who's talking. Okay. And so he says that he's hearing things, and he feels like he's often not in control of his life. Um, what's wrong with you? He says that you need to focus on grounding yourself, being happy and present in your current life. Um, in a sense, it's a sense of stress and overwhelming. And so his ego is in the way. And so guys, ego, you know when you guys have bad thoughts about yourself, whether it's I'm not happy, I don't look good, or whether you're judging somebody else, mm -hmm. that's ego. And so with this person, his ego really has a hold of him. You want to... Um, Acknowledge your ego. And so when he's talking about acknowledging it, say, no, that's not me. That's not what I think, and that's not how it is. And, you know, confront the ego and tell the ego to go back, in a sense of talking to yourself like this. Okay. So he's, he, if he's hearing other things, does he, does he have part of his self in the other realm? It's, yes. Uh, too much, and so he needs to ground himself into this life, this body. Yes. And how, could, could, he, how could he best do that? Nature, being outside in nature, walking barefoot. Okay. Taking a bath with sea salt, Epsom salt, frankincense essential oil, diffusing it, smelling okay. it. Consistency, just having consistency in your life, being doing something okay. at the same time every day. Okay. Walter L. Hi, Eric. I feel my daughter, uh, Caitlin, might be spiritual. If so, how could she focus her, uh, her mission? Thank you. My regards to Mama Elisa Mendes. All. Thank you. Eric's blowing you kisses. He says, hello, your daughter is special. And so the thing with her is she's already open and hearing the things for her, it's in her memory, in her head. And so she's not quite understanding that she's communicating with spirits or getting guidance. The thing that you want to do to help her would be to ground her so that way she has clear communication when she can understand when she's getting that thought from guidance or from somebody else. She's already got the abilities. They don't need help with being open. She needs to ground so she can understand when your abilities, when it's coming in and when it's your ego. What's a good when way? Not, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. When What's you're not grounded, it takes a toll on you um, because then your ego comes in the way, and that's what's the thought in the back of your head. Yeah. Oh, that's me, or that could have been me. But if you guys are grounded, then you guys have more power, and you can kind of just fight that ego and let that go. Okay. 
how can she best would black tourmaline under her mattress or something help her or black tourmaline is amazing for grounding for anybody or a necklace made of that or okay wearing a necklace or a bracelet um but for me, the easiest thing is putting the crystals underneath the mattress. So you're going to place four crystals, one under each corner. Black tourmaline um, is really good for grounding. And so with crystals, you guys want to charge them and cleanse them. You do so in the moonlight or in the sunlight. Um, you can Google search this and get more info on it. But that's breaking it down for Okay. You. That's awesome. Alexandra D., my dad has to fight so many health battles throughout his has had to fight so many health battles throughout his life to a point where it seems unfair. Can you please help me understand why this is? Thank you all so much. With love, Lexi. Yes, and so he's come in with these health issues. Not all of these problems are supposed to happen, people. Things just happen on their own. And so he's telling me that part of this is free will. And he says that part of this is um, he came down here for support. So that way he would be able to have people to help him with support. It's really, um, he's talking about the support system, wanting to have that type of lesson, that type of experience. Humility? Because, you know, sometimes if you have to have a caregiver, somebody to take care of you, if you have health problems, it's a lesson and, you know, the soul wants to learn more about humility. He says that's a big part of it, Mom. Okay. And he says accepting help from others is the other part. Okay, accepting. It's Sometimes it's hard to accept love mm -hmm. and, and help. All right. Is there anything he can do about his health issue? issues? Um, yeah, uh, Eric is telling him to actually use some, what, what kind is that? To rub some peppermint essential oil with lotion on his belly. Um, he's got like di digestive issues going on. Okay, all right. So peppermint oil on his belly. Good. Soothe it. Okay. Uh, Walter L. Hi, Elisa. Thank you, Raylene, for interpreting. How should I learn to feel the energy of others better? I meditate every day. What else do you recommend? Hi, and you're welcome. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to help you. Eric says hello. He's okay, Eric. And so filling the energy, there's two different types of energies that you can fill. You can fill energy from another person here on earth, and then you can fill energy from another spirit. Can I teach you a technique, Lisa? Yes, please do. Okay. Grab your hand. Go in a circular motion like this. I want you to invite Eric into your space. Eric, come on in. Come sit in my lap, baby. Now you're going to feel your hand get thick or um, I can compare it to like dense air. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I and feel so that. Feel it's sun. cooler. It's cooler. Uh huh. And a lot of people get different sensations. And so, everybody, this is how you can feel energy, spirits. Not only yeah, with air, it's but really if you have cold. Yeah, cool. He goes, Mom, you're invading my space. <laughs> <laughs> spank you now. I can spank you now. <laughs> All right, interesting. Okay. So that can fill energy, spirit energy. All right, so that will help him. Mm -hmm. Any other techniques to make himself more intuitive. open? Uh huh. He says this person's intuitive, and so the way it's sensations, he's going to feel an eerie feeling like somebody behind you, but there's nobody there. Mm -hmm. um, somebody watching you, but not seeing them. The other thing is your crown chakra, so that way you can, crown chakra is up here. Mm hmm. And it's not exactly on the body. It's right above your head. Mm -hmm. And so your crown chakra is where you get all of your divine guidance, where mm -hmm. your information comes in. Uh -huh. So opening that crown and balancing that crown, you can use to, uh, Tibetan bells. You can use uh, sage to clear it. Just sage your body up and down. Um, and you can look at crystal. YouTubes or iTunes things to balance and cleanse the crown chakra. You can look that up. Yeah. Crystals, yeah. YouTube is full of information, and crystals are, to me, crystals are really easy to use um, mm -hmm. because they don't require, you know, you having to sit there and do a technique. With the crystals, you can make a crystal grid under your mattress, and there's um, white aventurine. That's really good for the crown. Okay. It's really good for channeling, too. So if you're trying to channel, I recommend doing four white aventurine underneath each corner of your mattress. One aventurine. Under each. Aventurine. Okay. Sounds great. All right. Maria C. again. Hi, Divine Team. I'm Maria, and I would like to know why I'm hearing sounds in my uh, place trying to communicate with me. Do you think they are dark energies? Ugh, much light. 
Eric says hello. Hi to you. No, they're not dark energies, but you do have an, a lot of activity going on in the home. Um, Eric is one of them, but he says that he's not the one making chaos. There's family members of yours there. Uh, he says that there's also uh, people connected to the land that the home is built on. Mm. So you do want to do a sage, um, either sage or palo. It's nothing negative. What this is just going to do is bring peace into the home. It's going to kind of help them to leave. Okay. All right, good. Uh, Scott H. Hi, Eric and Raylene. I was wondering if my mother's health problems are going to get better or worse, and should we be ready uh, if she is in the... Uh, if she is in the last few years of her life. Thanks, Scott. Eric says, hello. So your mother, she's going to get a little bit better, and then she takes a quick downfall. Um, so when she gets better, he's telling you to prepare, be prepared for this. Um, it's gonna, She's going to do worse. So she's not getting better. She's preparing to leave. What What's going to happen, though, because it's going to be tricky, she's going to get better for a, a few weeks, and then it's going to go downhill. Over what period of time are we talking? Or maybe Eric doesn't want to share that. I don't know. So this is happening this year of her downfall. And then he's talking about her passing being next year, um, mid-year. Okay. Oh. Uh, Maureen K. Hi, Eric, Raylene, and Lisa. I really want to learn how to channel. Is there any hope for me? I keep asking myself the same thing, girl. He says, hello, hello. And he says, of course there's hope for you. He says, you already do it, but you're unaware of it. Um, he says, yes, there is hope for you. He's telling you to do meditation. Um, and for you, this is active meditating. Meditating doesn't come easy. Um, active meditating, painting, you guys, a hobby. Crocheting, cleaning out your car, organizing. Um, and it's going to clear your mind. So when you're done with this clearing, open up to your guides and ask them a question. Sit in quiet when you're doing this and allow yourself to go into a daydream. Don't force yourself to go into a daydream. Just sit there and allow the thoughts to come. You'll go into a daydream. When you're in daydreaming, you guys are channeling. You are just unaware of it. Pay attention to what you think about as you come back. A lot of people have missing time or, you know, they're like, whoa, I was just in la-la land for a long time. When the person's saying, hello, are you paying attention? No, no, you were off. <laughs> <laughs> so daydream. All right. Cool. All right, uh, Yahira P. Hi, guys. It's Yari. Uh, Eric, can you uh, please tell me when I will be out of this marriage and living uh, on my own with my daughter where I want to live? Eric says, hello, hello. He says, you have the possibility of leaving now. It's all up to you. He says, you need to take um, family and get the help. She's not really, um, she wants everything set in place and done right before she leaves. She needs to, it's not gonna be that easy. She needs to just leave, and it looks like she's gonna be going somewhere with somebody for a certain amount of time. And that's what's gonna really motivate her to get the other pieces in place. Now, All right. is, you have the ability to leave now. Is this a lesson in self-empowerment for her? He says, bingo, mom. I felt like I channeled that from you. All right, what's well, good? He says, and you said you couldn't channel you know why? It's because we have a positive and a negative here, mm -hmm. and so you're we're connecting. Okay, so I, I'm getting stuff from him. I feel mm -hmm. like it's not mine, so that's good. Yeah. There is hope. James L., who is preventing me from having 100% uh, vivid dreams and being able to astral project? I mean, what is? Excuse me. My dreams are only about 5% real. Hi, James. Uh, that was for me. Eric says, what's up? Um... He talks to you as if you're one of his friends. He says that what's preventing you is you're overthinking things and too much human life. I know that sounds weird, too much human life, but um, this person is really focusing on it and really paying attention to it. And so that's kind of putting, I guess I could say, putting a block on it. Mm -hmm. What you want to do, there's crystals for dream recall. Labradroit. Oh. Uh -huh. what, what is it called? Labradroit. Labradroit. Okay. Labradroit. Uh -huh. You can get this on Amazon. For you, what I would recommend doing is a Labradroit and a Clear Quartz. Clear Quartz amplifies every crystal. Oh. So put one Labradroit and one Clear Quartz under each corner of your mattress. This is going to help you with this. You'll have dreams that you're going to remember. I would also encourage you to get a dream journal. 
write, write down your thoughts in the morning, whether you remember your dream. If there's no dream, write down what you're thinking about, what you feel, um, because this is coming from your dream state. And this okay. is going to help you open up. Oh, okay. Very good. What about this one from Lynn G. Hi, Raylene, Eric, and Elisa. My question is, what is my life purpose and am I living it? Hello. There's many different things with your life purpose. You often change your mind. This is coming in from Eric who's speaking to you. He's telling me that your life purpose is coming in for animals, dogs, cats, um, really speaking up for them. And the other thing is family. You've come here to help your family. Yes, he says you are living your life purpose. You often change, um, how do I say that, like career path. She does different things often. So, um, yes, yeah, she's she's doing what she's supposed to. Okay. All right. Jeanette G., I keep gaining weight even though I feel like I don't overeat. I don't know if there's something physically wrong with me or what. What can I do to lose weight? This is energy. Um, and so part of this is from food and then part of this is from energy. This is going to be your solar plex and your sacral chakra where you notice the most um, weight. Um, this is orange and yellow. You want to, I don't know if you've ever gone to an energy healer, but he's talking about going to like either um, a Reiki master and having them work on your sacral and your solar plex to move the energy. And so he talks about the energy that's held down there, whether it's uh, miscommunication with a partner, with parents, children, um, things that weren't dealt with, something that really irritated you and you just kind of got, or whatever, and threw it down in that chakra. Mm. He says that energy stays there and it gets stuck, which causes blockages. It causes weight, emotional stress, and pain, physical pain, Mom. He says not only that, digestive system issues, um, IBS symptoms. He says it's related to the chakras and the energy in there. Okay. I'm going to go to an energy healer, have them solar plex and sacral. This is yellow and orange. The solar plex is going to be right below your belly button. Sacral is right above the belly button. Would it help her to wear... Or, or have sheets that are the, those colors, or do they need to be op the opposite color? I don't know. No, no. He says the sheet idea is a really good idea, either orange or yellow sheets. I don't know if um, you can find those. Boy, I've never seen those before. But. So he's uh, showing me coloring the paper and coloring the paper um, orange or yellow. It's not a little paper, you guys. It's like um, a, a big, big cardboard yeah. type of thing. Uh huh. So color that and put it on the wall where you see or put it right in front of your bed. You can okay. take it down, you know, every day so you don't have this colorful thing on your wall if you don't want it there. But that would also balance it because you would be seeing that color. There's also um, light therapy. Have you ever heard of it, Elisa? Yeah. There's That's really beneficial. Um, okay. Light therapy actually helped me with opening my third eye. That's awesome. All uh -huh. right. Uh, so Google that and also Google the Grinberg method for for – making energy flow in these block chakras. Check that out because there are some providers that do that. Yes, and you are. Will I ever be able to hear my spirit guides? Hello, he says, and he says, yes, you will be able to. He says you're very intuitive, and so you get guidance through your intuition. The type of hearing that you're waiting for is like a concrete voice. He says no to that. You're going to be intuitively you're going to know when they're telling you not to make this decision and not to go that way. He says you're also very intuitive for other people. So the type of hearing that she's waiting for, like you and I talking, that's not going to happen. It's going to be intuitively. So is it going to be like claircognizance, clairsentience, things like that? Uh, it be more claircognizance okay. and intuitive. Okay. Uh, Francis C., hi, Eric. When am I going to sell my business? Um, and so he's telling you that your business is going to be selling. He's showing me time frames. And so he's talking about things that you want to do. And it's organizing paperwork, organizing stuff for the next person. You've got to get this organized. Um, and he's also talking about advertising that you want to do right now. Internet. You've got internet. There's um, uh, there's different. There's a, It's not Craigslist. He's showing me something else. Um, what is it, Eric? You know where you list homes? 
things okay. like that. I'm looking online, but this is for like business opportunity. It's a lot like a Craigslist, but this isn't Craigslist. For businesses, to sell yes. businesses. Uh huh. Okay. Um, and so this is something that this person wants to do. The business is going to sell. It's going to take a while. It's going to take at least a year for okay. it to sell. Okay. They have work to do within the business with organizing it. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Penny B, I stopped trusting my guides all and shut down until I could make sense of it. I want to open uh, up and be joyful again. What do I need to uh, know about this complex situation? So Eric is saying hello to you. He says, I want to help you with opening up and being joyful so that way you can hear your guides. He says that um, being joyful, he says, you know what makes you happy the best. Do the things that bring excitement to you. Music. Listen to music. This makes you happy. Um, he's also talking about trust really being a big issue with her. And so for her to really be happy, she needs to learn how to trust spirit guides and trust people. She has some, um, and it's in her throat chakra, she has some trust issues with life, and it's not only connecting to one person or one event. She needs to learn how to trust people, put boundaries up. And so this is going to be a lesson in putting boundaries up with people so that way they don't overstep them boundaries. This way you can trust. And then when you're trusting, you can feel love. You can feel joy when you trust. So it's going back to trusting. So a necklace with some sort of blue crystal probably would help then, huh? Yeah. Blue, blue, um, blue kyanite is really good to open up your throat chakra and to remove blockages. And so... Crystals do different things. When you have a block, you want to make sure the crystal removes the block. You guys can look on Google. Kyanite removes blockage for the throat chakra. Uh-oh. Telephone. Okay. Uh, here's one from Lucia M. Hi, Eric. Thank you for being you Aww. and everything you are doing for humanity. How can I best help others to awaken to their own divinity? Lots of love, Lucy. <clears throat> He's telling you to teach people about the ego and teach people how to acknowledge the ego so that way they can open up to divinity. Um, a lot of people block it out because the ego's in the way. Um, ways to bring down the ego, acknowledge it, become your true self. Um, you know, think to yourself, talk to yourself. If you have a bad thought about somebody, talk to yourself. Do I really feel that way about this person or why am I judging that person? There's no reason, reason to. So kind of just push that, that ego out of the way. And when that happens, then sh shit changes. You shift. You become more aware of things. Mm -hmm. You are not so um, centered in human life, as he calls yeah. it. You connect and open to the other so side. So what platform would she be able to use to teach people this? Book, blog, radio? Oh, I don't know. There's so many. Just, just word of mouth to, to just teaching individuals? He says YouTube, and oh, okay. it's videos. This is going to be through videos. Good. That's uh, exciting. He's also guiding her to audiobooks to read herself, well, to listen to herself, audiobooks. Okay. Um, channeling. There's books out there, guys, on how to channel, how to open up to your spirit guides. My first book was called um, Psychic Intuition 101, I believe was the name. Okay. It's right from Amazon. All right. Interesting. Now, uh, here's one from Marlene P. Will I be around to see my youngest chi children marry? Oh. Yes. Oh, good. Here's another one from her. Eric, what is going on with my body? I could ask the same thing. What's going on with my Hormone. body? Uh, he's telling her that this is hormone. She has a hormone imbalance going on. This is going to be estrogen that she's lacking. Not only that, she has chemical imbalance, which is causing anxiety with her. There's what kind of chemical? What chemical imbalance? Endorphins, serotonin, dopamine. Well, um, what what releases um, serotonin? Serotonin. Okay. Yes. What would help that get better? He says CBD. CBD oil. Okay. The the, oil, the tincture that you take underneath your tongue. Okay. Um, not the one with THC. The one with THC would actually kind of have a reverse effect on this type of. Just the hemp. The hemp having. one. Yes. It, that's always legal in all states, so that's yes. that's good. All right. Uh, Ebru T, I'm wanting to start my own entrepreneurial fashion business. Do you see me succeeding in, in doing this for the long term? He's telling you that this is going to be something that is going to be successful, although it doesn't happen overnight. 
He says it happens with patients. Um, he's showing you using YouTube for um, advertising. So yes, you okay. want to be very persistent with this. Don't give up on it. Good. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. Eva T, any advice for my higher self? Yeah, um, Eric says hello to you, and he says that your higher self is very masculine. I don't know if that's important to you, <laughs> but uh, your higher self message is telling you that you need to find some joy and happiness. You look too far to the future. So, for instance, your son says you do this too. You plan your week out. Look for one day at a time. Be more in the now. Yes. That's where you can find the joy. Mm -hmm. You can't worry about the future or, or angst over the past. You have to be in the exactly. now. Live in the now. How could she best do that? Because that's not easy. Oh, no. He's, and it's not easy for a lot of people. Mm. And to live in the now would be to take time for yourself. Um, Phil, take time for yourself, but do something that you like. So, for instance, if it's um, going outside, Fill the dirt. Living in the now is filling something tangible. If you go get your nails done, like um, hold the nail polish. Live in the now. Fill tangible things. Something okay. like fill things around you to live in the now. Textures, water. Put your finger in water. Food. Fill the food. Um, that's interesting. Become a messy eater. And I take, know, right? And be aware of your breathing too. That's exactly. always good. That puts okay. you in the now. Eric, you taught me that. Karen R. Hi, Eric. I would appreciate knowing what you recommend I work on in order to become as gifted as Raylene and Jamie Butler, is if that's even possible. Thank you so much for taking my question. Oh, thank you. He says hello. He's telling you the thing that you could work on. He's telling you to look up Tibetan dolls. These carry sounds with them. Get yourself some Tibetan dolls. They clear the energy in your chakras. Our chakras are energy centers, and they hold energy. Um, so you guys can... I have one right here to show you. This is Tibetan. This okay. one's for the chakra. Pretty. Beautiful. And they Which, make noise. Oh. That's for what chakra? Crown. Huh? Oh, the, the crown chakra. Okay. Chakra. Okay. They all have different sounds, and so when you purchase them, and so the way you would use it, you would hold it over your head and allow it to ring. And for and the, show, the, the throat chakra one, would you ring it over your throat? You would, and then you would also put it over your head as well with the other ones. So, with any other one. Okay, you do it over the actual chakra, but also always over your head. Yes. Well, can you listen to a, a YouTube with earphones on, Tibetan bells, or is that not as effective? He says that's not as effective as having the actual sound right there with you. I can imagine. Okay, interesting. Um, and meditation. Well, will she will she be as uh, as gifted? Yes, anybody oh, good. can. Good. Um, for her, yes, she will be. All right, here's one from She Meyer. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. I've been deported from Canada alone without my family who is in Canada, and I want to know if I will ever be able to come back and get PR. I don't know what uh, PR is, but. Um, so he's answering it as no, she doesn't get to go back. Hmm. It does look like she does get back with her family. Either they go to her, the family is reunited. She's okay. not going back, though. She's not going to go back to Canada. No. Okay, but they will, she will be with her family again. She's going to get back with the family. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. That's my alarm reminding me to not be late for our lunch with Arlene. But anyway, mm -hmm. here we go. Um, surrender. Uh, I am a single mother and never able to make money via job or business, uh, you know, in quotes, I mean, in parentheses, unsuccessful, and nothing goes right in life. Could you tell me if black magic is involved? Will I have financial freedom? Oh. Black magic and financial freedom. He says, yes, you do have financial freedom. He is talking about you, um, you know, like uh, how when you keep track of your check account, um, checking, you write down everything and you keep track of it. So make, um, track your money, what you're spending everything on, whether it's bills, even if it's, you know, going to the store and spending $2. Track everything and see where it's all going to. He's telling you to track. Did, did you say yes or no to the black magic? He said no to the black magic. Okay, good. good. And yes to financial stability. 
right. but the goal to this is to track your income, to track the money and where it's going. And budget, start budgeting. Yes. Any career path that would be successful for her? She's already um, doing what she can do, something that's going to bring her more income. Well, he's telling her, use Oracle cards, do card readings. Oh, for money? She's pretty open to this, uh-huh. Good. So she would be able to, you know, do some form of advertising to bring clients to her, and that would be done in the form of her own home, and she can create her own hours. Good. That's awesome. Kim T. Hi, Erica, Lisa, and Raylene. Can you tell me another life that I've had on this that most affect this current life so I can try to understand more about this journey I'm on? Thank you so much. You're welcome so much. <laughs> Hi. Eric says hello to you. And he's showing me a life. You've got two children with you. There's a boy and a girl. You are single and by yourself. It looks like you're taking care of them. You're not a female. You're a male. This is the life that's most affecting you. He's telling you because you've had a lot of responsibility um, the tiredness that you carry now is carried from this current life. Um, past life regression is really good. Past life regression does help to cut those cords, so that way you don't feel that tiredness and you're unsure of where it's coming from. Past life. Can you tell uh, when this was and where it was, this other life? Uh-huh. This was in India, and I would have to say the 1800s. Early okay. 18 months. Right. Yeah, past life regression would be great. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, Dory L., am I on the right path for my spiritual mission? Yes. He says hello to you. He's telling you that your spiritual mission is expanding. He says you're going into new ventures right now. He's talking about spiritual growth. And so he's telling you that he's with you quite often. He's asking you to pay attention to your thoughts. You're growing spiritually, and Eric is um, he's wanting your attention. Are you his her guide? Or he one says more of a teacher. A teacher. Okay, good. All right. So, uh, is she on the right path then? Hell yes. Oh, good. Awesome. <laughs> All right, Tracy B. Hi, Tracy B. Here from England. I would like to know what is wrong with my partner and daughter's daughter health wise doctors not really interested what can I sometimes doctors are like that what can I do to help them thank you and love to you all love back um first off you have a mold in the home um I don't know if you had a leak recently but there's mold in the home okay and that's a big part of the issue it's in the walls it's not going to be noticeable I'm looking at your bathroom area and um this looks like a laundry area, laundry room area, bathroom and laundry area okay. behind walls. They have tests, um, I believe they have home tests where you can test to put like a strip on the wall and test for mold, but oh. they also have companies too that can come and test it. Mold is very dangerous and can mm -hmm. cause it's terrible lung issues, uh, nausea, headaches, vomiting, really bad symptoms. Okay. So you guys want to, it's mold. Okay, wow. Tracy B. Uh, Tracy B. again. Hi, Elisa, Eric, and Raylene. Is there anything important I need to know? My life mission angels or something you think I should, should or need to know? Yeah, um, Eric says hello. And the thing that you want to know is that you're very important to your family. They often don't express it enough to you, but they really do appreciate you. Mm. Your family has a hard time showing you gratitude. Um, and he's telling me that they love you so much and have a ton of gratitude for you. Mm. So although they're not expressing it, know that you are loved and that you are needed. Well, that's pretty important. Very mm -hmm. important to know. All right, Mary C. Hello, could I ask Eric to bring through my mother, mother-in-law, Doris, and ask if she has any messages for the family? Thank you very much, Mary C. Hi. So Doris. Uh, Eric says, hello. Doris is here. She has been waiting very patiently. She's telling you all that she loves you and that she is happy. The message that she wishes to give you is, is to pay attention to, um, she's showing me clouds, and she's also showing me, the reason for the clouds is so uh, spirits can make letters in the clouds. They can make shapes, hearts, and this is going to be her getting your attention. She's giving you images through clouds, and she's also giving you pennies. 
she wants to know. She wants them to acknowledge when she's around. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. So, um, um, any uh, specific messages for anybody? Yeah, all of them. She wants them to acknowledge when she's around, to pay attention to the clouds. To she, wants to good, she wants to continue to have a relationship with them. Yes. Just because she's dead doesn't mean she's gone. She just doesn't happen to have a body anymore. Exactly. All right. That's good. Pretty so, much what recording. so talk to, uh, you have conversations with her. She wants to be in the mix still. Exactly. Okay. She does. Yeah. Allison M. Hi, Eric, Raylene, and Lisa. I'm struggling to find peace here on earth. What is my life or soul purpose for being here? Thank you and much love. Much love back. Hello, hello. Eric um, says hi to you. He's telling you that your life purpose is multiple different things. This person is doing traveling. That's what their purpose is, um, to experience different countries, different states. You do work? Through her career? Both career and just for fun. Okay. He says she's going to have opportunities. Well, what's going to help her find peace on earth? Traveling, going out natures. And so when traveling, like if you can't go out of state, travel to the mountains. If you have mountains by you, go to a lake. Find yourself and center yourself. He's talking about you needing centering. Centering yourself out in nature is really easy. Just sitting out there and being by yourself. You're centering. Oh. Sounds awesome. I love that kind of thing. Okay. All right, uh, Taina M. Hey, what's my life purpose? Love to you all. Elisa, Renine, and Eric. And this person's name again? Taina M. First, she wants to know her life purpose, and then she has another question. She wants to know her soul purpose. So, hello, Taina. Your soul purpose is helping and healing people. That's what the soul urges to do. Um, your life purpose, you are coming down here to help people, teach people, and so you're teaching people about patience, you're teaching yourself about patience. Um, they also show you, he's like, it's he's describing an earth angel, somebody in the right place at the right time. Um, she has different, different things that she's going to be experiencing in different times of her life. Mm -hmm. uh, so, for instance, like taking care of a family member that's passing over, that's going to be one of them. Mm. She's coming in specifically for people. So she's an earth angel. Yeah. There's a lot to that's it. Cool. It's not just, um, there's a lot to it. It sounds like it. All right, Lori A., any messages from my guides and angels? So Eric says hello to you. He's showing himself. He's doing like a costume change. He's now putting on what looks like a beach outfit, and I can see his. He has no shirt. <laughs> oh God, Eric <laughs> flashing himself. Flash. Your message is to go and enjoy some water every now and then. He's telling you that I'm also with you, and I encourage you to communicate to me more often. This, um, she's having a hard time understanding when it's Eric. Eric pops into her, her head very clearly, and so she'll hear Eric. Know that that's, that's him talking to you. Um, you're going to be doing spiritual work. He shows you doing channeling and holding events. She's doing a complete shift. Mm. Wow, interesting. That's exciting. All right, Anna K. will I ever leave the toxic marriage that I'm in and find peace? Oh. First of all, is there a contract behind this marriage? Was, was it... There is a contract. The contract is over. The contract was for her to stand, um, stand up for herself, but not only that, self-respect, and then getting other people to respect her, the other individual. That part hasn't been very easy, and so Eric is telling you that the lesson is now over and you can leave. He says, of course, it's hard because you have to think about where to go and finances. This plays a big factor. Yeah. So he says, yes, you are going to be free. He's telling you that you have um, friends, family, some form of support system that you just don't want to ask for help and you don't want to tell them. He says this is the lesson where you need to speak up and mm. tell people you need help. Yeah. I'm down here. That's the last um, 
part of this contract expressing that she does need help. Okay. All right. Good. So be brave. You could do it. And yeah. Gina yeah. R. Pardon me? Yeah. She can do it now. Yeah. Do it. Just do it today. Uh, Jenna R. Hello, Eric. I would love to know what my purpose is here. I have a strong desire to help people. Aw. Jana, hello, hello. You, my friend, are an energy healer. He's talking about Reiki and um, different types of energy work that you're going to be doing. She's got, um, he talks about you, and so he says the warm hands. When people have warm hands, this is often yeah. a sign of energy workers, doctors. You're, it's an energy worker, too. Yeah, mine get real hot. Mm hmm And so with her, she could touch somebody and make them feel better. But there's more to it. If you set intention, that what he just explained was more of what she does unknowingly. But what, what you can do is rub your hands together, invite your guides, your angels to assist you in sending this positive, loving energy out. Hold your hands out, people. Anybody can do this. You don't just have to have warm hands. You can activate it. And so you hold your hands out and you state the person's name and you state, you know, what you're sending the love for. Um, she's going to learn more as she does this. She's going to get ideas in her head, um, thoughts, images, things that just come to her. Oh, my rock. <laughs> does she, do you have to, like, envision a white beam coming in her hands and going to the person? Or He says she can, but the intention of stating that I'm sending positive loving okay. energy. Because I have a hard time sending... Like white light, all of a sudden the white light gets dimmer and it kind of goes away. It's like, okay, white light, come on, white light. Uh. So, Lisa, can I teach you another method? Yeah, go ahead, teach me anything. Can, mm -hmm. People that can't envision, what I want you to do is try and grab a ball of energy. So work with me, Lisa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Get your hands and just imagine, state, thank you, state, I'm forming positive, loving energy. Okay, positive, I'm forming positive, loving energy. Invite your guides, your angels to assist you in sending this. Come on, everybody, help! Loving okay. energy. Okay. And so for me, I can already fill my ball. It's like I go in circles here as I'm combining it together. I feel the cold. Uh huh. And, but, so. and other people, so that's energy okay. that you're feeling. And so with you just creating that ball that you're creating, you can hold it and send it to the person. You can envision their name. You could look at a picture over Facebook, look at a picture. Um, do I do have, it like a, like, a, like a picture where I lift up my leg and go like that? You can. Uh, because you don't have to do it exactly like that. Okay. Just send it on out. Okay. Uh, here's one from Jet. Hi, Eric, Raylene, and Lisa. This question is for my mom. Barbara M. I'm worried about her. She's always in constant pain. What could be wrong and how could she heal herself? So your mom has had a long life and stressful. All of the years that she's been living, she's dealt with quite a bit of stress. And so everybody has chakras and the stress has put physical pain in her body. And that's what this is coming from. Um, he's talking about taking her to a chiropractor. Chiropractors can move energy, um, something that you want to be consistent with. And then also talking with her, just allowing her to speak her emotions, whether there's a memory, um, like a therapist. You can be a yeah. therapist. Mother's not going to want to go to therapy. Um, talk to her. Be her therapist. What about uh, low-dose naltrexone? I've been reading a lot about that for chronic pain. It's super safe, and you can just... And non-addictive, he said, yeah, yeah. no, not addictive at all. And it's being used for rheumatoid arthritis and a, a MS and a bunch of stuff. He says yes to I that. I started one of my family members on it. All I did was get a prescription for Nalax, naltrexone 50 milligram tablets, which don't take. And I dissolve it in 50 cc's of distilled water. And then, you know, you start out with a, a milliliter after 9 o'clock, okay, and then, you know, if you tolerate that, you go up and up a little bit, a little bit to 4.5 milliliters. And what it does is it, it's such a small dose of naltrexone, which is an endorphin opioid blocker, that it's out of your system in two or three hours. And so then your body responds by increasing its own endorphins by 300%. And endorphins are our natural opiates. So anyway, just look yeah. into that and ask your doctor about that. All right. Uh, would that help her? Maybe? He says that would be really beneficial for her. Good. Um, yes. Okay. Uh, Joanne, 
My sister thinks she's entitled and she's a huge manipulator. She has stolen from the family and, and trained her husband and uh, kids and, and grandkids how to accept her ways. My question is, when will this turn on her? Karma's a bitch. <laughs> Eric says, hello to you. And he says, unfortunately, I wish they had good news for you. Karma is a bitch and she will see the day. But none of this really comes back to her. It doesn't look like she has some traumatic event that's going to happen. Um, what's going to happen with her, she's going to be lonely. And that's what's going to hit her hard. So she'll alienate people. Mm -hmm. Here's another one from Joanne. What is my purpose here? To stay away from your sister. I'm kidding. <laughs> your purpose here is actually being loved and coming to learn about love, having unconditional love. Um, he says one of the things that you are learning about right now is keeping distance from people and also being non-judgmental. And he's talking about judgmental of yourself and other people. Uh, he's telling you that what you want to focus on right now is happy things. Don't focus on things that have made you mad, upset, pissed in any way. Focus on the happy things in life so you can focus on your true purpose, love. So maybe your si the sister it has a contract with her to teach her to love unconditionally. Maybe she's a relationship villain. You should read something, a little book that you can find online called The, the Little Soul and the Sun, S-U-N. It's really very good, and you can learn how some people will do terrible things in your life as, you know, as a gift. So read that. But Karen H., yeah. I thought it was on the right career path. However, the past several months have been filled with resistance. Should I uh, take this as a sign to choose another path? Yes. And what should that path be? Any any ideas? Mm -hmm. So he's telling me that she's going to be doing, um, it looks like real estate. Hmm. This is real estate that I'm looking into. I see properties, but I see her doing... Um, you know, when you go and show the homes, oh, yeah, there's okay. different types of real estate. She's selling property. Okay. Interesting. That sounds good. That's a, you can make some big bucks in that. Uh, Robin N. Are any of my family members indigo or crystal? Thanks so much. You're welcome so much. Hello. He says, yes, this is going to be indigo. Um, you yourself are indigo. And then there's also, um, a, a, this is a little boy in the home. And he's also indigo. So that's all. Okay. Uh, he, indigo is very sensitive, and I'm sure she knows what it is if she's asking about it. Yeah. They're very sensitive individuals. Um, so that's a, one way that you can tell if a person is indigo, anybody in the family, just being over-emotional, over-sensitive, getting their feelings hurt with something that you wouldn't normally get your feelings hurt with. Okay. All right. Uh Joanne J. I worry about my two sons, but more my older boy, Kevin. When will he find someone his age? He's 29 and his girlfriend is 20. Eric, I believe you know how I feel. No, he's going to stay with this girl. This is a soulmate of his. Eric says, I do know how you feel. This is a lesson for you. Hmm. Um, your son is providing you many lessons this life, not only this one. This relationship isn't going to be his forever. It is a soulmate, but it doesn't last long. She wants somebody else, I'd say, after about a year and a half of this relationship. Okay. And then his next girlfriend, will that be his forever? He says more suitable. He bounces around, up and down. Um, he's come here to experience different types of relationships of all kinds, okay. and that's what he's going to do. Okay. Stability for him isn't easy. When will he settle down forever, if at all? He looks like he's going to be at least 45 when he settles down. Okay. Yeah. All right. Alex B. Hey, Eric. On my current life path, does my dream home and large garden with all types of flowers and cherry blossom trees occur in my future? Oh, thanks for being super awesome. Oh, Alex, thanks for being so super awesome yourself. He says hello. Um, he's telling you that your dream home does exist. Um, he says that what your dream home is more of nature. He says, although it is the nature that brings you joy and happiness, it's also the structure of the home. He's telling you that your home that you're desiring um, is coming to you. This is going to be 
So I'm not looking at like this gigantic house, but what I do see, it's more like um, kind of like a little cottage surrounded by a bunch of trees, um, fruits, vegetables, mm. things like that. So the house itself isn't very big, but it does have a lot of land. Oh, that's preferable. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, good. And when is that going to come? Time range. Uh -huh. If you could even seven tell. Years. Seven years. Okay. Oh, that's good. Maureen K. Hi, Eric, Rainey, and Elisa. Could you give me answers that I have been seeking about my journey here? Uh, here, And is my mother going to be around until the end of the year? Yes, on your mother. Hello. Hello from Eric. And what was the other part of this question? He's talking um, about journey just give could you give me answers that I've been seeking about my journey here well so he's telling you your journey is involving you being here and being happy being happy with yourself is a big part of this journey living in the now um, he says that these are all less lessons that you've come down here to learn he says you've got to be patient with yourself because you're learning as you go He's telling you that life does get easier for you. There's some difficulty right now. He um, talks about anxiety the most. And um, he says that this does get easier for you. Good. You, I, I would suggest practicing, um, like, what's mine is mine and what's yours is yours. You're, you're feeling energy from other people. So, like, even for instance, if you're in a, a workplace and there's a bunch of people around you, one of those people could be negative. You know, that energy is on you. Yeah. You feel either sad or super happy. So practice what's mine is mine and what's yours is yours. Right, so she might be an empath, I guess, huh? She is. She's yes, a high empath. Oh, wow. Well, that's always tough. But good. Just identify what's your energy, what's your feelings. That's, that's good. Yeah. Uh, Felix N. Hello, my name is Felix. My skin is quite unclear, so I would uh, just like to know what exactly I can do on a spiritual level in order to help it heal. Um. So... He says that he doesn't really have any spiritual. Um, Sometimes zinc. Talking about like remedies. Sometimes zinc deficiency can cause skin problems, so you might want to consider taking a capsule of zinc twice a day, or two mm -hmm. in the morning, or two at night. Two at not, night. Not only that, but um, lemongrass essential oil is really good for the skin. You can mix it with lotion. A lot of people are sensitive to just pure essential oil. You want to get organic um, or make sure that there's okay. like no pesticides. Organic has no pesticides. Okay, so, good. Yeah. Um, a lotion that's not going to cause more acne. Okay. A lotion based one with essential oil of lemongrass. What about Accutane? Would that be an option? That's pretty hard on the system. He says no. Um, he's actually talking about acupuncture. Acupuncture, okay. Yeah. And so acupuncture, he's showing me his ear area. And so stress causes skin conditions too. Mm. Um, acupuncture does work with stress really, really well, especially okay. in the air area. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, Valentina S. I was told there is a bad, there is bad family karma in my family since before I was born. Is it true? And how do I fix it? How do I find a healer? I don't think there's no. any such thing as karma. Eric he says, says no. There's, there's not bad karma in the family. Okay. Uh, talking about more of, I guess you could say, bad luck. He said shit just happens. Okay. So mm -hmm. what can they do? What can she do about that to reverse it? So he says that there's, there's nothing that has to be reversed, Mom, because there's nothing that's stopping any happiness from coming. He's telling her to focus in on the now Seems like everybody's needing to focus in on now. Yeah, so few of us do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or some of this, on, some of this bad that. luck, spiritual contracts from people trying to teach lessons. Not exactly. No, he says a lot of stuff is free will that does happen. Um, he says there are lessons, mom, but you do have to understand that there is a lot of free will. So, for instance, if somebody has a fall walking out of the house and they break their leg, that's not contracted. Okay. okay. Sometimes it can be contracted and your spirit guides are saying, guess what? You need to take a break now. Okay. And this is forcing you into a break. All right. Anything else she can do? Energy healing to remove blockages in her chakras. Okay. She's got fear and she's afraid. That's what this is okay. coming from. And so this is going to be her root chakra. A Reiki master can send distant Reiki energy, a okay. shaman, um, energy work. 
Good. Root chakra to remove the fear because you got fear. All right. Well, that's all we have time for. Thank you, everybody. And if you want to connect with Raylene, she is at <clears throat> www.angelmedium7, numeral 7.com. And uh, the first of every month, she accepts questions for our little monthly Q&A. Anything else you want to add, Raylene? That's it. Eric, I love you. Thank you he says, I love you very much. He says, everybody have a good day. Thank you all for watching me. Um, and he's telling you all to watch out for his pranks. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm have off to see my day. granddaughter. Bye, everybody. Have a good lunch. Thanks. Bye. Bye.